In this video, I'm at Sparrow Automotive, where um, Ellie the 2CV has been um, benefiting from some expertise that I definitely don't have. So uh, hopefully she'll be running better on the way home and I'll tell you all about it. But yeah, some very interesting machines here. Uh, this is uh, one of the race cars, because uh, Pete Sparrow, quite good at the old racing and building the cars. Uh, it's all very different to uh, a standard 2CV. Many restorations going on as well. Very talented team. BMW bike engine conversions. Uh, Pete's own BX, 16 valve undergoing some work. So a very interesting place to visit. And uh, I tested one of his 720 kits as well. So that's in a separate video. But uh, yeah, we shall head home and I shall talk through what's been going on with this car. Right, well, here we go. I've now got to try and remember everything Pete's done. Uh, it's been quite a lot of work. And oh gosh, the brakes don't feel as good. Oh yeah, she feels good. So the, what, what pre pre prompted this work was talking to Pete about um, carburetor jets. Uh, he wasn't confident the 652 kit came with appropriate jets. Although it turns out things got a lot more complicated than that. Um, as I was bringing the car over and Ellie was leaking oil, I thought Pete should probably um, sort that out. And uh, he agreed, having seen the state of the brakes. The oil leak has got quite a bit worse in recent weeks. And uh, indeed she was pulling to one side because one of the brake discs was, uh, yeah, rather soaked in oil. And uh, it had been building up for a while and getting worse. And I noticed this when I jumped in his 720 car, which I tested. And he loaned me that as something approaching uh, a courtesy car. And yeah, oh, I'm just going to, oh, it doesn't feel like a 720. It's pulling very smoothly and very cleanly. Uh, so yeah, Pete wasn't prepared to do any tuning work until he sorted out the oil leak, which turned out to be the oil cooler. So he had to uh, replace that. That's the same issue Ellie had um, about 18 months ago now. Oh, these brakes are, um, yeah, they, they should improve. There's been a lot of brake cleaning fluid on them, but I might have to do pads. We'll see how we go. And oh yes, she rolls, just like a 2CV should. So Pete set about changing the oil cooler again. Uh, just to remind you, the engine I've got now is um, a mixture of several engines, rather a hybrid I built just before we went to Croatia last year. The crankcase, well, the, the whole engine was just in a stash I had. Um, but when I was chasing oil leaks, having put that engine in, uh, we found that the uh, pistons and barrels were quite bad, so we swapped the 652 kit over. But that engine, I, I know nothing about it. I know it sat outside under a plastic cover for a long time. Um, so uh, it's not surprising we've had some issues. Uh, I probably could have changed the oil cooler myself. It's not that big a job. But while it was here, it was worth Pete doing it. Because while he's doing that, he found one of the inlet manifold bolts wasn't going home cleanly, so he had to retap that hole and sort that out. Uh, wait for these traffic lights. And uh, he sorted some of my wiring out as well because my wiring is atrocious. Oh, yeah, she's feeling smooth. Uh, so, yeah, with, with that work done, then Pete could finally set about. Um, I'm going to try it fourth. Oh, she does sound happy. Doing the tuning work. But when he took her out, he noticed a rather strange sort of vibration coming from the engine. I'll see if I can make it do it now. Um, we we'll go for second. No, typically it's not doing it that time. It's very slight. I doubt you'd hear anyway. Uh, there is an odd vibration from somewhere, but Pete's conclusion, after giving it much thought, is it's probably the exhaust cross box. He's given me a, another one to try, but maybe there's a loose baffle in it. And uh, certain revs. There it is. I just heard it slightly there. Uh, it's, it's just 
vibrating slightly. He was initially worried the bottom end was um, having a bit of a mare. But uh, there's no knocking. There's just this strange sort of vibration you get at times. So perhaps the bottom end is bad. But all I can do is drive it and see what transpires. I've got an exhaust cross box that Pete's given me a, a good used one. So we'll, we'll see um, yeah, how, how that feels. But Pete had an absolute game trying to get the carburetor jetting right. He, he uh, replaces a section of the exhaust with a pipe with a lambda sensor in it. And then he, he drives the car and he's used um, a fair bit of fuel doing that. So almost half a tank. So he's done a fair bit of driving around. Different load, different throttle positions, just to see where the fueling was at. And uh, then making changes which involves partially dismantling the carburetor to change the jets and um, to try and get it right. Um, but he's slightly baffled. All, all the carburetors are different, but this one he's had um, some real issues. He's actually had to make the primary jet larger. I'd already got a 110 in, but came with a kit. He's actually had to go slightly larger on that and uh, make some changes. To, I think it's the emulsion tube. He's effectively had to solder one to try and and then sort of re-drill it to get the sort of setting he wants. And, uh, but so far, I'm certainly noticing she feels a lot happier on first choke. So I'd say the changes are worth it, but he's spent hours going back and forth fiddling with things. So uh, yeah, that, that's why I came to Pete. Pete Pete's got the knowledge uh, through his work in tuning two CVs over many, many years. Idle still isn't entirely happy uh, and uh, winning 2CV World Championships, preparing the cars for the racing. He knows a lot about them. So uh, yeah, it, good to get her over and uh, experience some of his um, skill. He's, he's rather worried this carburetor is just simply worn out. Um, I can't even remember the history of this carburetor, which engine it's off or what. But as they wear, they do develop air leaks in places and he's worried that might be something that's going on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how she goes. I've just now got to drive the car, see how she goes, report back to him. She might have to come back over here for a further tinkering session. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, very, very interesting. It's always interesting to chat to Pete because uh, he knows a lot. Certainly, I, I, I've not enjoyed driving this car on the... Um, on gentle throttle. Full bore, she's been fine, but gentle throttle has been annoying. And driving around town, you just feels a bit jerky and often reluctant. That seems to have gone. She's feeling very smooth. So longer term, I'm not really sure where we go. Uh, I've just got to play it by ear. So it's a bit of a strange video, really. I'm just talking at you a lot about what's happened. I couldn't really film the work because of social distancing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, been a bit of a pain trying to make a video about what's happened with my car when I haven't been there to watch it. Oh yeah, coming on and off the throttle at 60, that's a lot smoother. The fact we're holding 60 on a um, very light throttle is uh, encouraging. That's good. We've got about 100 miles to do to get back home. Could be quite a long day. But that's what's been going on with Ellie. Um, I'll see if I can film some more entertaining hoonery as we make our way back to Wales. All right, the idle has improved a little as we've covered some miles. And uh, that's not the only thing that's improved. Overall, the engine just seems so much happier, so much smoother. It's uh, an extraordinary um, change, really. So much more pleasant on the first choke. It actually wants to rev. I said to Pete, it just doesn't, the top end is really bad. Uh, but, uh, oh, this feels so much better. I have no idea how much this work has cost yet. 
Uh, still to find out. Woohoo! But, uh, yeah. I think it was worth doing, certainly. It just goes to show, carburetors are such tricky things to set up correctly, but when it's done, yeah, the car can be entirely transformed. Annoyingly, I've been meaning to get Ellie to Sparrow for um, ages, really. At one stage, I was hoping to do it before Croatia, but then the engine problem struck and uh, never really got the chance. So finally, we've done it. And uh, yeah, I am very happy with how things are going. I'm also getting used to the fact that I've got body roll again now and much more comfortable suspension than Pete's um, own personal car. Well, here we go, up the Erlen Valley. Came down it this morning in the 720. Now we're going the other way. I'm in top gear. I'm never usually in top gear at this point. Now I haven't got that raw urge of the 720 kit, nor the induction raw, because I haven't got a cone filter. But uh, oh, I finally feel like I'm getting the extra out of that 652cc kit. I did have an issue where she was pinking, so I had, when I was on the European road trip, I kept on retarding the ignition. Uh, it was about four degrees retarded, Pete reckons. He's been able to tweak that back up with the fueling, without that inlet leak. And uh, I think that plays its part too. It feels much more responsive. Yeah, she does here. This is usually second gear. We're in third. She's happy. Oh yes. But it's around town as well. When I'm doing 30 miles an hour, I can use fourth gear. That was never previously an option. Watch out a bit. Quite a lot of cows up here today. Oh, Ellie, you feel magnificent. I think we can say that that has been a very good visit. So thanks to Pete, uh, thanks go to Pete rather for um, sorting her out. And because uh, he's such a busy man, I appreciate the time and effort spent not just to fix it, but to talk through what has happened as well. And uh, yeah, very, very interesting. I'm going to continue driving home, there's still some way to go, uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, uh, don't forget you can head to the Hubnut store for support options and for lovely merchandise, head to hubnut.org, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash hubnut, uh, or look into channel memberships on YouTube, uh, either are an option, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Hey. Oh, look at this rather nice Peugeot 205 GTI. That's very lovely. And uh, I note there is another one here as well. Pre facelift. Oh. I wonder what's going on up here.